Hello everyone, it's time for another weekly reads um, and this week was pretty standard um, I just uh, met some friends and that's basically all I did so I had some some time to read and I finished two books um, the first one that I finished was Our Sister Killed Joy by Ama Ata Aido uh, which was my reread for last month but uh, the, the book didn't right on time so I read it this month um, and this is a very short book about um, a Ghanaian woman that moves to Bavaria in Germany to study and it touches upon a lot of things even though it's so short it talks about the um, feeling of not being home and the homesickness that uh, she gets when when she's in Germany, but also how in many places in rural uh, Europe uh, there there are no black people really, um, and how um, she befriends this woman in Bavaria that she's just curious about her and her culture and everything, and the bond that they develop, and she also talks about the. Um, yeah, the, the way that everyone reacts to that, the way that people look at her um, and talk to her, also because she doesn't speak fluent German, um, but she speaks English, which in Ghana is like a sign of, of higher education, but in Germany it's not that useful because they speak German, especially in rural areas. Um, there is also talk about the academic world because this woman goes to study so how the academic world reacts to her um, and it's just a lot of different aspects of the experience of moving to another country to study and a lot of them I could relate to because I have also moved countries to study um, and even though I don't have uh, the difference in in race there are still lots of differences that I could identify with um, and also this is beautifully written um, it's part prose and part uh, poetry um, and yeah I, I did love this one as much as the first time I would highly recommend if you're looking for something uh, to read from Africa and you don't know where to start maybe this is a good place um, and yeah, I really loved it. And then the other book that I finished this week is Something Wicked This Way Comes by Ray Bradbury, uh, which is the book that we read with Sim uh, from Sim Reads as a book club. In we, he he set up a Discord uh, for the book club, and we were dis discussing the book. Um, and yeah, I I also really like this one. Um, it's kind of um middle grade I don't know if it's a middle grade young adult but it does feel easy and young to read uh, and it's it's about these two kids they must be like 13 um, and they go to a fair in the town and then something dark happens in in the fair and we see how that develops um, and yeah it's basically a spooky read for the season it's very easy to read the the language is very beautiful and very poetic I know that some people did not gel with that style of writing personally I really enjoyed it um, I also love that the father of one of the kids in this book is a big part of the book which often doesn't happen in this kind of books and it's kind of weird that it doesn't because of course in real life the parents will be involved in something like this um, so it is nice and that it gives it even though it's very fantastical and whimsical it uh, it gives a sense of reality in a way and also it's very atmospheric like it when I was reading I was immersed in the story because it's very atmospheric a bit like Rebecca I mean it's a completely different vibe but you know how Rebecca is just about the atmosphere most of the time um, so that this book had that feeling as well a bit um, the only thing I will say is that for some reason I was not able to connect with the character themselves which meant that the actual plot and the story of the book didn't have a big impact of me and I don't think I'm going to remember in in a few months time just because I didn't connect with the characters and I didn't 
really care for them um, but the experience of reading it and reading about all of these spooky vibes with the added um, aspect of the amazing writing was still worth it for me it's just not something that will go into my favorite books of all time if that makes sense um, so yeah I, I enjoyed this one as well and I enjoy also the fact that we were reading it together and we could discuss the different aspects that we like and didn't like um, so yeah that's what I read this week I am not in the middle of anything right now but I will probably um, start something as soon as I finish recording this video and I have three books that I tentatively want to read this week uh, the first one is uh, The Dog by Kirsten Ekman which is a Swedish book it's for the Invisible Cities project and um, I don't know much about this other than it seems like it's like a middle grade it has illustrations and everything and it's very short I have read a fair amount of Swedish authors already so I didn't feel like I, I needed to go out of my way to read a lot of Swedish literature for these invisible cities uh, so that's why I went for something short and um, yeah something short, short and sweet um, and it also seems to be a heartwarming story for what I have seen um, so yeah I'm looking forward to this one and then uh, the other book that I have in my list for the Invisible Cities project for this month is from Guinea and that's La Roi du Cahel. Um I don't remember the author but I will put the picture here um, uh, yeah, I also don't know that much about this one. It, it was basically the only one that I could find available from from uh, for me for Guinea. So that's why I picked it. So I don't have a lot of sense on what it is about. Um, but yeah, I will let you know when when I read it. And then the last one that I have for this week that I would like to read is something that uh, has arrived to my house recently and that's my reread for this month which is Frankenstein by Mary Shelley and I was kind of <laughs> very lucky with this because I, it's every month I pick something out of a jar randomly and it happened to be a Victoria novel for Victoria and it also happens to be kind of spooky for like the spooky season I'm not a seasonal reader but still sometimes I feel like I want to be part of the community and I don't uh, so this makes me feel like I will be a bit more part of that that trend um, and yeah again this is a, this is a short relatively short book it's one of the few classics I like and I'm looking forward to reading this as well. So yeah, those are my, my books that I want to read this week. Uh, I will let you know how it goes. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this week, whatever you read. Let me know if you have read any of the books that I have mentioned. If you have read anything for Invisible Cities this month, let me know what it is and how much you enjoyed it. Uh, and until next week, bye!